like to congratulate on behalf of Disha Publications of your success. We would like to ask you few questions about your success story for the future aspirants on learn them and benefit. Let's start. Since when did you start preparing for JE? I started my JE preparation when I was in the 8th class. Like I had foundation during my 7th class for JE, like just the basics and my actual preparation uh, started during the 8th and during my 11th and 12th it was the final preparation as in. Please let us about your daily routine during JE mains preparation. How many hours did you pre put into preparation? Well, uh, when my JE mains was in January, I started my preparation like one month before the mains exam. My daily routine was like uh, I used to do half a day related to mains and half a day nothing specific to mains, just math, physics and chemistry. During my half day uh, with regards to mains, I used to give previous year NTA papers, all the PYQs of NTA and I used to solve some PYQ questions related to the mains, which are the most important for the mains exam. And whenever I get free time, I used to check on those questions which I've done wrong and which I've done mistakes and I used to rectify them. How do you manage your coaching class 11th and 12th preparation together? Did you feel that there was a tug of what situation between coaching and school? Well, uh, in my school I had five subjects, Maths, Physics, Chemistry, Sanskrit and English. So Maths, Physics, Chemistry was same between coaching and school. So there was not much of a tug of war in those subjects. But in English and Sa Sanskrit, I had to like mug up them, uh, which I actually did just one month prior to the board exams. So only during that one month, I had uh, to face a bit of struggle. Rest all it was fine. Which subject was your strong subject and which was the one in which you struggled the most? Mathematics was my favorite subject. Okay. Like even when I was in my sixth, I loved maths and I actually qualified uh, eight years so top ranker when I was in my sixth. Okay. And if you ask what is my hard subject, I says there is no hard subject. Okay. But uh, a bit, I find physics a bit hard when I was in the 11th beginning, oh. but now everything is... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what differently you prepared for JE mains and advance? Does one need to keep an eye approaching for preparing for JE advance since the beginning? I would say that since the beginning, you just have to do math, physics, chemistry, nothing specific to the JE papers. Just uh, like do it with your interest, math, physics and chemistry. And after your JE mains is done, then start with the PYQs of JE Advance, original PYQs and you have to give every PYQ, uh, like the whole paper, as if it, it was a uh, advanced paper, like only from 10 to 23. The rest all PYQs, you can do it earlier itself, but 2010 to 2023, you have to give it as a paper itself, like as if it was a JE Advance paper. PYQs are, according to me, the most important for JE preparation because they are the actual testers of JE. And in my preparation, Disha's LLS 45 previous year books were very important, very like crucial for me and very okay. useful as well. Because they cover like every aspect of JE and every question is covered in that and there were not errors at all. And they cover it like chapter wise and you can go through the everything in an order so that you will not miss anything related okay. to JE. Is respective revision important or the student should focus on more and more problem solving? Uh, I would say that first, whenever the chapter gets completed, on that day itself you have to revise your class notes and weekly you have to keep revising your notes again and again and solving and revision is a balance between the two. You shouldn't do only revision or you shouldn't do only solving. It's a balance between the two that you have to find out and it depends on you like how much solving you have to do and how much revision you have to do for a particular chapter. For chemistry you can do more of revision. For maths, you can do more of solving. What did you do in the last 15 days before the JV, JE advanced test? So uh, mine was a long journey, so I already completed all the topics. So there was nothing much left during the last 15 days. So what I done was just I revised the PYQs and I revised the NCRT chemistry wholly during the last 15 days. I didn't stress myself much and like I enjoyed a lot during the last 15 days because that was a period where you have to stay stress-free yeah. and you have to think of JE as an easy exam. Yes, yes. 
What was your mantra to keep yourself calm and concentrate for JE knowing it such a difficult test? How did you handle the pressure and not let it affect your studies? During my JE preparation, like uh, as everyone, I also used to face stress sometimes. Okay. What I did was just, uh, I used to play some games like table tennis and foosball. I used to play like for 30 to 45 minutes, which used to help me to get relieved of my stress. And also I used to plan my study slot accordingly in such a way that there is not much of stress during my preparation. And my friends also have, have supported me a lot during my preparation. So that also helped me relieve my stress. How were you feeling on JE Advanced Day? Oh, on the final day, you, you may actually get your nerves and you may get like uh, a bit worried. But just try to stay calm. Just stay calm and don't think about anything else. It's just an exam. It's not something mm -hmm. tough. You just have to give it and just enjoy and give the exam and you'll get your result by yourself. What was your exam giving strategy for JE Main and JE Advance? For JE Main, uh, we will have, uh, it's, it's a 70 cohort 5 question paper where you'll have 20 questions of 4 options like single option questions and you'll have 10 questions out of which 5 you have to answer which are of numerical type for each subject. So what my plan was that I used, uh, I actually kept maths at la last, physics at first and chemistry in the middle. So my attempting method was P then C then M. So in that way I get enough time for maths in the end to complete whole of maths. So I used to complete physics in the first 60 minutes and then chemistry as fast as I can and the rest over time like around 1 hour 30 minutes to 1 hour 20 minutes I used to give it for maths. So this was my strategy for mains and I actually did not change it for advance because I always love this physics, chemistry and math strategy so I applied the same for advance. But what is uh, different with mains and advance is that in advance you might not uh, get actually whatever you'll expect. Sometimes physics will be lengthy, sometimes maths will be lengthy. So my strategy was just I have to stop physics at one hour no matter what and whatever the rest of time is there for maths I will try to finish as many questions as possible and leave only tougher ones and attempt them at the end if I have time left. What was your strategy for more than one correct option? For more than one correct option what I would say is that if you know that A, B, D are the correct answers definitely then go for it. But suppose you have D as a doubt, D may be correct or may not be okay. correct. Then I would recommend go for A, B. Don't take the risk of going for A, B, D. Because losing 2 marks is uh, better than losing uh, getting a minus 2 in J advanced exam. Which subject do you think need the most time or which subject poses a biggest challenge in the exam? Uh, it will be different for everyone. Okay. But in general, physics is the challenging part of JE. Like I observed for many people mm. that physics was the challenging mm. part. It's because of the uh, physics, like some topics are there in physics which are non-intuitive or a bit skeptical. Mm. So that is the reason physics is a bit tricky for many people. What was the source of your motivation or what kept you motivated as student often lose confidence or precision during preparation? When I was young during my 6th class and 5th uh, class, I had a huge passion for science. So I wanted to get in the best college with the best resources and faculty. So those were the IITs. So it was my dream to get into an IIT which kept me motivated during my preparation that I have to get a uh, good rank in GE. How did your family help you in this achievement? My family supported me a lot, uh, whichever problem was there, whenever I face a health issue or whenever I get emotionally low, my mm -hmm. family and my parents uh, helped me every time and made me, uh, they gave me motivate, they kept me motivated every day and thank you for them. What was the thing that you feel or think you different than others that helped you achieve such marks? Or by rank. Now no. you are the. <laughs> you many people like prepare a lot, and what they forget is that in the last 15 days or in the last 10 days, you shouldn't like stress much yourself. So, what made me different, I would say that my strategy for the examination day and my strategy for the last 10 days. If you have done everything right in the past two years, and you if you make yourself stress free and calm in the last 10 days and even on the examination day 
you'll find that your result will be the best. During my JEE preparation, what I felt was that JEE PYQs are the most important things because they help you understand the JEE papers setting and how does JEE put up its questions so that you'll be ready for the final exam entirely. And during my preparation, I used Disha's 45 years exclusive PYQ books. They contain every PYQ question starting from 1978 to 2022 chapter wise and in order like you will have levels as well and in every order so that you can cover every single question that JE has asked and on the final day you will be confident that I have covered every single question of JE so you can crack anything. So they were very helpful during my preparation. I thank Disha for their books.